Hmm. Oh, hey guys. Uh, say, you wouldn't happen to be interested in a pair of earbuds, would you? Let's get into it. everybody doing today hopefully healthy and happy hopefully now for those of you that are new here welcome first and foremost my name is Brandon no D that's right there's absolutely no D in this name hence Brandon not Brandon don't even go there also before we get started I need to ask you guys a personal question are you vaccinated I'm just kidding are you subscribed are you a subscriber? Because if you're not, you're missing out. It'll only take you a second. Hit my subscribe button, hit the bell, and don't forget to hit all to be notified in this crazy content I provide. And I will uphold my word to deliver you excellent quality as you can see behind me and in front of you. But most of all, honest reviews. Because that, folks, is what you deserve, and that is how I roll on my channel. So what are we looking at today? We're checking out the new Phil CC Pros. All right, so they're not so new. They've been out for a few weeks. I'm a little late to the party, but hey, I'm here, aren't I? Let's dive in. All right, you're gonna get what uh, reminds me of, I don't know, an accordion style setup guide. And let me tell you, they've got a lot of information that you're gonna wanna know and how to use with your new product. Also coming in the box is a Fairly short USB-A to a USB-C, but hey, it's a USB-C. You're also getting three sets of silicone earbud tips. Small, medium, and large. Medium, obviously, being on the product right out of the box. All right, center of attention. Here is the new Phil CC Pros, and right off the bat, when you open this case, check this out. It lights up. Yeah, I'm digging that. That is pretty slick. I like that to let you know how much charge is on the earbuds. Looking over the case, on the bottom is going to be your USB-C charging port, and then all the way around is pretty much rounded edges, nice and smooth. I really like the sleekness of it. It's definitely gonna be a nice pocketable uh, case for sure. Let's take a look inside. There you are greeted with the earbuds and you guys know as well as I do, we have to do the gravity test, right? Let's hit it. Well now, that definitely passed our Brannon gravity test. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and take these out physically. Taking a closer look at the earbuds, definitely a different design than what you're normally used to, for sure. That's something Phil has been doing a lot of, is making these modern square looking stems. And I, I kind of grown to like them. At first I was like, eh, but I've really grown to like them. And let me show you how they look in the ears. Now, mind you, they are going to stick out a little bit. So these are definitely not a style earbud if you are looking to lay your head on a pillow it's not going to happen not with these they definitely stick out but they stick out for a reason they stick out to say hey check out my new style i'm wearing and i get it when phil does this with their earbuds but for some 
they might like it. For others, they may not. I personally don't mind it at all. They're very light. They feel very good in the ears, um, but they do look pretty sleek. They definitely have that modern, cool look. And again, when you are dealing with stems, you're going to have a better mic pickup for phone calls because it's closer to the mouth. All right, let's go ahead and nerd out with me real quickly. We'll go over the specs on what these come with, and then we'll give it the Brandon rundown with a music test, a mic test, and then I'll give you my honest opinion. Let's go. All right, these are considered an ANC hybrid noise canceling up to 39 dB, so that's pretty sweet. You're gonna get 30 hours of playtime on the case, six and a half on the buds with ANC off, five and a half with ANC on, so keep that in mind. Also has transparency mode with four mode noise tuning is what they call it. Noise canceling, open mode, wind canceling, and monitor mode. And we're gonna go over that real quickly because these happen to have an app. That's right guys, we've got an app with these earbuds. I love it when companies give us an app to get in there and tweak it how we wanna hear it. I love that. These are also considered a true wireless earbud, meaning you can use either the right or the left, but they also have a setting in the app to turn on hear ID, which means if you take them out of your ear, it'll automatically pause. So I like being able to have both options. You're gonna get 5.2 Bluetooth, which is awesome. It's the latest and greatest. You'll be able to watch movies or even game on your mobile device without any latency issues. So that's a plus. And lastly, you're gonna get an IPX4 rating on this. Now that's pretty common on a pair of earbuds with these features that are embedded in the unit. So you'll be absolutely fine with water splash, sweating, and what have you. You just don't want to submerge them. All right, let's go ahead and stick them in the ears. We're going to do a music test, then we're going to do a mic test, and then uh, we'll give you my honest opinion, and we'll get you out of here like promised. Let's go. All right, as we stick them in the ear and demo a song, I can also show you the app, which is pretty sweet, actually. They got quite a few options on there. So we go ahead and connect to the Phil CC Pros. Then you'll download the Phil Plus app and it should locate your earbuds. There we go, just like that. So right off the bat, you're gonna see a left and a right earbud that's showing fully charged at 100%. And then it's also showing the case, which is 60% at the moment. Now, when you come down here and press the dial at the very bottom, this is where you can really dive in and start tweaking it how you wanna hear it, especially with their custom EQ. At the beginning, you have bass, original, treble, and if you click on more, it'll drop down and give you some extras, which is classic jazz, light cinema, metal pop, R&B dance, rock, electronic, soft bass, and new age. It'll be very fun for you guys to test each one and see what sounds best for you. And if you don't wanna use one of their custom presets, you can always click on the custom EQ and you can start adjusting the highs, the mids, and lows just the way you like. Now here's where I was telling you about earlier was the noise tuning. You have noise canceling mode, you have open mode, and it's gonna tell you in the ear as well. And now I can hear myself talking clearly. Very handy if you were talking to somebody and don't wanna take your earbuds out of your ear. Then you have wind canceling mode, and it says windy mode. And then you have monitor mode. Okay, let's do the noise canceling once again. Definitely takes out the background ambience. It's doing a great job, doing perfect. Okay, then down at the bottom, you have volume adjustment. You have default call volume. You can turn it up or down. Then you have your medium volume as well. And when you click the bottom four boxes, you are able to use the full controls of the app on your earbuds. What that means is by toggling this on, you'll bring up a screen that'll actually allow you to adjust volume control, play pause, and etc. So you go ahead and hit accept. Then you'll also have your low latency mode, which will give you the option of using it for game, music, or video. 
So when you hit video, it says selecting video mode will optimize Bluetooth latency without affecting the sound quality. So you can choose which one you want. I like to keep it on gaming because that's where I need my lowest latencies. And then scrolling down, you have pair device switching. You can either use that on or off. And then you have wearing detection, like I spoke of earlier, where if you turn this on, it's called smart sensor. And when you take your earbud out while you're listening to music or watching a program, it will pause. If you leave this off, then you're able to use either the right or left. I prefer that when I'm using one earbud at a time, but if I'm not, then the wearing ID is nice to have. Then you have your firmware and what have you. So all in all, you have a pretty well-stocked app to be able to go in there and do some tweaking and some customization that's gonna make you even happier. All right, let's go ahead and play a song. And today's song choice is going to be, you guessed it, the company Artlist. If you guys are on the fence of what royalty-free music to use, look no further, check out my description down below, and don't forget to get yourself two free months on top of the one-year subscription. The song is called Test Me by the artist Frank Bentley. This one's pretty cool and very unique. Let's go ahead and play it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's got good sound, guys. Loud. Oh man, the singing part is very crystal, right in your face. The bass isn't real muddy, it's crisp, but deep. Wow, oh man, that's awesome. Here we go. Oh yeah. Wow, holy smokes, man. Wow. Oh, that was incredible. Uh, Phil, I just don't know how you guys do it. I really don't. I don't know how you pack these drivers. I'm not even sure what size drivers these are, but let me tell you, they are incredible. They're incredible. You guys are going to be very, very happy with the sound that is produced out of these. All right, let's go ahead and stick them back in the ears and do a mic test because I'm guessing they're going to sound pretty decent being stems. Let's check them out. All right, you guys know the spiel, obviously the professional mic. We don't wanna hear what that sounds like. We are only interested in what the Phil CC Pro sound like, and that is gonna happen right now. How do I sound? You guys like what you're hearing? I'm guessing it's gonna sound good, but I'm not sure until I get myself in post. But uh, this is what it would sound like in a nice quiet environment for a phone call. But you guys also get a treat by hearing what it would sound like in a loud environment. This is what it would be like in a restaurant. Are the noise canceling mics working like they're supposed to? Are they blocking out most of the ambient? Or is it really muffling and drowning out my voice and making it unclear? I guess we won't know until I go and hear it for myself. Here I go. Well, obviously fast forward, I have been in post and I did listen and I was quite impressed. Definitely with the quieter environment, they sounded crystal clear. Even the background noise didn't muffle it out like some other earbuds that I've reviewed in the past. So I'm very impressed with the Phil stem styles for phone calls. You guys will be absolutely fine. Let's get you guys out of here. We're gonna go over the pros and cons. And by the way, I apologize in advance if you hear some snow blowing going on, which I need to be doing myself. That's why we're gonna get this video done. It's been snowing all day, so yeah, yeah. Love winter, love it, absolutely love it. Uh, pro number one, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the sound. Definitely the sound on these are fantastic. The punchy bass you get, the clarity of the voice of singing. 
uh, highs, mids, it, it all sounds fantastic. And which brings me to pro number two, it also has an app and you can even tweak it better than what it's stocked with. And I, I love that when companies give us that freedom, I guess you could say, we're able to just jump in there and play around and, and get different sounds of what we like for different genres. And pro number three, always save the best for last, right? It has G charging guys. That's right. You can slap this on a charge plate and Bob's your uncle. Love that. All right. As far as cons go, you know, I, the only thing that I could really complain about is to the ones that don't like stems, I guess, because if you're not a stem user, you are definitely probably most likely not going to like these. Okay. If you're an Apple user, which are all the AirPods or stems, you're going to love these. They're going to feel just the same, if not better. But like I say, that could be a con to some of you that just simply aren't into stems and would not like this style. But that's it, guys. That's the only complaint I have. Let's go to the price because I think you guys are going to be pretty excited and as stoked as I was when I found out. So right now, as the video is being posted on Amazon, they retail for $79.99, but they have a 19% discount right next to it, bringing them down to $64.99 but it gets better. They even throw in a 5% coupon on top of that at checkout, bringing these down to a grand total of $61.74. Guys, that, my friends, is a no-brainer, okay? You're getting ANC, transparency, wireless charging, Bluetooth 5.2, amazing sound with an amazing app for under $63. Now, keep in mind, I am not sponsored or endorsed through Phil. They just reach out to me and ask me to do you guys an honest review, and that's what I give you, okay? So I'll be sure to drop you an affiliate link down in the description below and where you can grab, or shall I say, snag a pair of these. All right, I got some snow blowing to do, but before I let you go, and you guys may have some snow blowing to do too, or shoveling. Fortunately for me, I got a nice snow blower. It's time to open a fortune cookie. You guys know, that's what we do on the channel. We open fortune cookies on reviews, right? All right. Fortune today says, place special emphasis on old friendships. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I've got to get a hold of some of my friends. You know, I've been kind of absent lately. I've been so busy with the channel and things, I just, I tend to forget to call them and wish them a Heidi how. Would you guys do me a huge favor? Could you share and like this video as it helps the channel grow tremendously? And if you stuck with me this long in the review, <laughs> yeah, you definitely need help, but hey, I'm no judge. Thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. <laughs>